All right, uh, Ed Feldheim, Kevin Strom here for Horse Racing Nation. We are at Woodbine for the 2023 Kings Plate. Uh, huge field, really exciting race. It's going to be a great day of racing here at Woodbine. Beautiful weather, as you can see. Uh, the, 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 the track is just filling up right now. Things are starting to move forward, so we thought we'd take a minute and talk through the race here. The track looks fantastic. The all-in looks fantastic. The first looks great, in or in out. And the most important part is there's no dirt up here. <laughs> So we get classy racing all day. What a fantastic Sunday. Like you said, the weather looks great. Absolutely. Hopefully it stays off. It should. I'm excited. You're excited for the car. Let's get into oh, yeah. it. Oh, what yeah. Do you, uh, what do you think? So I think, you know, there's a couple really interesting horses in here. Um, I, it, it's a question of pace. And as we were just talking a, a moment ago, you know, anytime you get one of these really big fields with a big, long straightaway, uh, regardless of, you know, we think back to the Derby. Oh, there's no pace. There's no pace. Boom. Huge pace. Right? And so I think we're in one of those situations where you're going to get a lot of pace out of the gate, uh, regardless of what anybody wants to try to do out front. You're going to have 17 horses running down a straightaway to a turn. It's going to cook. Uh, and I think as a result of that, um, I want somebody coming mid-pack, uh, maybe even from the rear. I'm not quite sure uh, where Stanley House is going to sit. Um, I do like that horse. I do think it got a very strange tactical run last out. I think we see a better race here. Uh, Javier is certainly uh, on a worldwide tour here. Uh, maybe he can get another notch in his belt. Uh, but I certainly think Stanley House is a formidable horse in this race. Yeah, Stanley House, you know, Javier comes up. He doesn't, travel's not free, right? So he's up here for a reason. Uh, we didn't see Javier the last couple of years up here. So I ran a junior a few years ago up here. Um, so when the big jobs come up, they, they're confident in their mounts. Uh, four to one, he's a little bit desired in a big field like this, but you know, it's not it's not the Chad with, with KK up. So uh, yeah, yeah. still going to be a little bit of a price, I think. So in these kind of races, it's more of a survival leg. If you hit it, it's going to pay well regardless. It's not going to be any kind of four to five in this race. Uh, the lead to Chad Brown with Luis Camaro will be the favorite here, Cali, uh, coming from the U.S. Uh, but that horse is unproven on synthetic. So I'm going to be against that horse. Like, yeah. And we're most of the favorites. Yeah. No shocker there. Uh, and like my friend Ed said, the run up here, you know, there's a lot of horses that are going to be vying for forward position. Patrick Parsons is going to go. Uh, and once they go, you'll see a lot of times they'll be able to, you know, back off the horse a little bit and save some for the rest of the race. Uh, with 18 horses, 17 horses in this field, that's just not a possibility. Be too many horses that are forward, uh, too many horses that are going to be on the hip pocket. And, you know, like I said, it's going to turn into a little bit of a pace here. So mid-pack, off, off the pace is what we're looking for. Uh, I like the two fillies. You know, let's not make a mistake. These fillies are not on the same caliber as Moira from last year from Rock. Uh, really, nobody is aware was a special horse. She still is. She runs on the undercard, albeit on turf. Um, but Elysian Field and uh, Wicked House, they're both come out of the same race. Elysian Field got first run on a, on a pretty hot pace, so I expect the pace to be maybe not as hot here, but, but similar. It's a little bit longer. Um, both those horses should appreciate the extra distance. Um, you're getting two great jockeys. Uh, you're getting Sen Savachi. Um, you, know, you know how he does with Mark Cassie. He won that last race. It would surprise nobody you're getting 8-1. to one. And then uh, Rafael Hernandez on uh, Wicked House. So, yeah, both, both having really, really solid years, yeah, both of those guys. No struggle yeah, here. Yeah. They're two of the guys to be up here. Yeah. Um, it's quite the jockey game. You know, you follow those. And obviously, you can be a rising chat. Um, but, you know, I, I like those two toys in this race. Talk about this 11. Yeah, so easily the most interesting horse in the race, uh, touch and ride. Um, you're you're going to get paid for taking a chance. Uh, the horse 12 to 1 on the morning line. Uh, touched the synth last out. And it was like a rocket ship. Uh, just top bear in the field, which, you know, bears on synth we don't really love. But regardless, uh, it still ran a very fast race and kept on going. Uh, got even with the with the leader in that race. And then, again, just, just cleared and, and kept on moving. Um, I think it's a very interesting horse. It will absolutely be on my ticket as an A. Um, I, I just, you know, the maiden, and now he's coming in to, to winner. That's a tough ask. Uh, but at the same time, that was a big run and shouldn't be ignored. That main race, the, the figures, if you're a big believer in whether it's buyer, time form, prison at speed figures, that figure from the maiden race, it's legit. on par with some of these horses. It's here. legit. So any kind of improvement out of this lightly yeah. race, three year old, this will be his third start, uh, puts it right there. Very contentious. You know, he's 12 to 1. You think Campos being the jockey is any kind of hand in that? Yeah, for sure, right? You know, if, if Kamara's up on it or, or any of the other top riders, Rafi, you know, probably comes on a 5 to 1, you know, something like that. But I, I would be very happy taking a seven to one uh, uh, morning line, uh, 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 post time odds on that, uh, and if that's the case, I'll certainly throw in a win bet. Uh, but it'll absolutely be on any of the horizontals that I play. 
last short price we want to talk about is uh, Koku Kaipu. Uh, so it's a, it's a quality horse. Does the 15 hole worry you any about a horse that wants to be forward and maybe wants that, that forward third trip? Could get cut wide. You know, you see a lot of, because there's, there, there's not an incredible amount of speed within the race. There's a couple horses that are certainly going to go. Um, I, Kaiko Kaipu is one of those sort of mid-level speedish runners. You know, it's going to sort of sit I, somewhere three lengths off, four lengths off. And as a result, I think that could get you caught pretty wide here. Um, or you might use up a little bit too much energy trying to get in position on this long first stretch. So it, it's an interesting horse. Could, could, could run a good race. I just wonder about the distance. There's a lot of improving horses. It's a three-year-old race. Exciting day, first leg of the Canadian Triple Crown. We're here at Woodbine. Good luck to everybody out there. Again, Ed Lake Stanley House, Hog to Two Phillies. Make your play. If you like the prices, best of luck to you. We'll see you next time. Enjoy a day of class.